Got a new pH meter. The brand is called Apera. I got it off Amazon. The reviews are really good on it. So here I am. Yeah, let's go through on how to calibrate this. All right, batteries are in. It's on. So this is my first time using this. And it, especially your first time using a pH meter, you should soak it for five minutes before using. That's generally what I do anyway, actually, before I use it, let it soak. And uh, yeah, let's give five minutes from now. All right, though, so this has been in there for five minutes, distilled water. First of all, this came with pH solutions, which is great. I ordered more, not this brand, but uh, I got like bottles of it. Um, so this says to start with seven. Now this I just put the probe right in there, right under the top of this. I would recommend not doing that and just putting them in a different uh, jar because you want to cross, you know, your pHs a lot, dripping around and stuff. But because I have more coming, I'm just going to put them directly into these little bottles. Little plastic tops here are vicious. I have to like rip a hole into this. Okay, so this is dried off. I'm hitting calibration mode. I'm hitting this bottom button here. Oh, I gotta turn it on first, I think. Calibration mode is this bottom button here. So to hold it for long. And it says cal. Put it in the pH solution here. And this is in seven first. LCD displays a little happy face, which it did. And then short press it to complete a two point calibration. Nothing happened. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. So now the seven's blinking and it adjusts it to a seven pH. I think that's it there. Oh, and it says the temperature is 89 degrees, by the way. So I think this has a temperature adjustment in this, which is pretty rad. Uh, I don't want to really exceed that. I think the probe above 120 degrees Fahrenheit would have issues, but that's great that it can adjust for that because that is going to be very handy for the hot Los Angeles weather here. Okay, great. So I'm now going to put this into water here. Did my distilled water, rinse it off, and test it against the four pH. Why are these so difficult to open? So I've gone through a bunch of pH meters. I've gotten some crappy brands. I forgot the first brand I had, but it was, it was bad. And then I got this electricity one. I think it was like a pack of two for $30. And it was fine, but I just kept getting in inconsistent readings and I calibrated it all the time. Extremely aggravating. I bought the bullet. This one I think was 40 or 50. Um, and it was the best reviews I could find on Amazon. So hopefully this is the one. If this crap's out on me, and doesn't work well, it will crap out eventually. But if it just quits early and I have trouble with it, I'm about to bullet and spend like $100 on one of those Milwaukee ones. I heard those, I heard those are really good. I'll we'll calibrate this against the four. Long, so I got a long, I hit this for a little longer, this bottom one here. Okay, now it's calibrating against the four. And then I gotta hit this again to complete it. So now it's adjusting to the four. So you long press this, let it sit, and then short press it. And now it's reading right. And it says LM on the bottom right hand side. I'm good to go. So this is calibrated. That's it. Looks like I can just turn this off and go for it. Uh, when I use this the first time, I'm definitely going to test it against either the 7 or the 4 pH and just make sure it's reading accurate. And then I'll use it to test my mash. If you, if you watch my YouTube videos often, you will uh, definitely see updates along the way. I will, I will let you know somewhat like a product review on how this works. By the way, you gotta store these in, um, in a pH solution uh, or the probe will dry out. Uh, I got this potassium chloride pH solution with my other testing kit. It's, it is a, a solution, there's other ones out there. Um, but this is what I got with it. Not with this one, like I said, with another one. It has a little fill line, which is amazing. And yeah, I'm gonna put that in there, close it up. And now it's gonna stay in the solution until I need it next time. That's how you calibrate a pH meter. This one so far is awesome. I love that it had the temperature in it. It has some weight to it. Um, I love the feeling cap here. I'm glad I spent the money on this, the 50 bucks on it. I think it was, like I said, I think it's actually closer to 40. Uh, and you know, I do a lot of videos uh, and I'll do a lot of pH readings and I'll kind of do a product test along the way. Um, I think the next brew day I'll do it. I'll test this uh, against the actual mash, see how that goes and see how long it lasts and see uh, how, how often I have to calibrate it. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for my videos, and uh, get out there and uh, get, get weird with some pH stuff. Yeah.